Welcome to another episode of SG Crypto. This is going to be a video covering the recent uh, integration of Fireblocks HQ into the Flare Finance ecosystem. Uh, really what's going to be enabled, as it states in this post, is you know the first use case will enable institutional grade custody to Flare Wrap. So I don't know how exactly they're going to in integrate it into Flare Wrap because they haven't really stated anything yet. More info to come, as they say, but Institutional grade custody is basically just a more advanced, more secure way of holding your cryptocurrency. You know, the, the chances are much lower, if none, to it getting hacked. You know, it's much more immutable, uh, you know, where you're holding it. You know, we, we think the same thing about other blockchains that we hold our stuff on, or other, not even blockchains, but dApps and stuff, but or bridges. But as we've seen in the past, those have gotten hacked. So this will just allow for a much more... Uh, I'll say seamless experience, you know, a less less bumpy experience, you know, when when navigating the space of DeFi and cryptocurrency as a whole. Um, so really, what I just want to do in this video is just give you a brief overview of Fireblocks. I'll cover this much more when they drop more info on it, but I'm not going to go into crazy depth because it would all just be speculation as to like how it would be implemented into Flare. Um, so I'm not going to really go into that beyond what they've already stated as far as the institutional grade custody, but just so you guys can get an understanding of what Fireblocks does and the people behind it. So these guys, you know, back in 2017, the infamous Lazarus Group hacked into four South Korean exchanges and stole $200 million worth of Bitcoin. And so working for cybersecurity leader Checkpoint at the time, the would-be founders of Fireblocks were part of the task force that investigated the massive cyber breach. So these founders, um, at least majority of them, are a part of the group that or they, they were working for checkpoint and it was a cybersecurity firm and you know so I, they have a background in that cybersecurity so that's why you would see that more secure ability that institutional grade custody uh, ability to you know for them to be bringing that to the market because of their past um because we can all agree you know in a decentralized market that security is going to be number one because as you may have heard in the past you know this is the wild wild west and anything can happen without anyone being held accountable depending on obviously where you are holding your funds could be a centralized exchange or um, platform where of course then there would be someone to talk to talk to but majority of the time majority of apps dApps whatever you're on your own so Introducing the first Web3 engine, the only enterprise-grade platform for developers building the next generation of NFT, GameFi, and DeFi products, the Web3 engine includes three unique suites. They have the DeFi suite, NFT suite, and GameFi suite. So the DeFi gives you the ability to build new DeFi-enabled Web3 services to generate yield for users, backed by Fireblocks DeFi API, with connection to the widest range of both EVM and non-EVM blockchain protocols. So in this case, it really just gives you the ability to launch a, a DeFi service and have it to be and give it the ability to connect with tons of different blockchains and protocols as long and it doesn't even have to just be Ethereum. So th this is uh, Ethereum virtual machine is what that stands for. Um, so it can be both Ethereum blockchains and non Ethereum virtual machine blockchains. So or protocols at, at least. Um, and so it immediately gives you a lot of access to other blockchains and just the ability to expand your immediate usage, I'd say, user base. Um, secondly, NFT Suite. So they offer secure NFT services to your customers with a complete development toolkit to mint, store, and transfer NFTs with full support for ERC-721 and other EVM chains. Again, just implementing <clears throat> more scale for people who are looking to offer an NFT service to, you know, current customers or something. So if you're looking into developing, um, which I've kind of been throwing that idea around, I probably won't, you know, uh, enter that space. As of now, I got too much other stuff going on, but um, this would not be a bad place to at least look into further. You know, I'm doing obviously just a brief overview of it, but it could be worth your time if that's your your niche that you kind of want to enter. Then third, we have GameFi Suite. So expand your gaming offerings using Fireblocks Web3 engines, out-of-the-box minting and management of gaming assets across top blockchains. Build on multi-layer security and enterprise-grade operations to scale to millions of wallets. Um, again, 
you know, really what they're offering is the ability to, you know, offer a DeFi NFT game gaming finance service or um, app, DAP, whatever you want to call it, and just have immediate access to many different blockchains, many different protocols um, and chains. So it could be a great place to start as a developer because they do have, as they've mentioned, all the development tools that you would need to get going. Um, yeah, so minting, game, minting NFT and gaming assets. Uh, and as you can see here, you have Songbird already on their, their picture here. But as we have found out two days ago that we are a part of the chain. Um, so create Web3 apps across 30 plus blockchain networks. So this is the number 30 plus, we'll just say 31 blockchain networks like OpenSea, Uniswap, Cardano, Solana, Stellar, and more. Get access to 35 plus protocols and 1100 tokens and all ERC 20 tokens from day one. So, you know, it's a lot of access. You know, if you were to launch a dApp, if you were to build some sort of DeFi service for staking, you would immediately be able to implement these 30 plus blockchains, these 35 protocols, these 1100 tokens and all ERC 20 or Ethereum tokens. Um, so, you know, that's some serious access and some serious initial value that they're providing. So if you guys are interested, um, link in the description to get to this. I obviously have no affiliation with them, um, but you can request access. You're not going to, you're not guaranteed it. But if you have a good enough pitch, if you have something you want to work on, I'm sure they would hear you out. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, of course, the Discord is in description for you to join if you're interested in that, as well as the course. I want to mention about that course that I will be moving it because that platform is it's a paid subscription where I currently host the course and I'm giving away for free. And I just don't want to be expending uh, funds as of now just to you know host that course, maybe in the future, but not right now. And so I'm looking for a place where I can move it to that's going to be free of charge and I can just have it there for people to join and go through and, and just learn. So um, if anybody has any recommendations in that case, I'm interested and I'm open to it, but I'll be moving that probably today, the course, and I will update everybody who's joined the course. I'll probably email you and give you the link to the new location so you can continue on your, your education in that, cur that course. Um, so that with that, I hope you guys have a good day. Any questions, comments, concerns, reach out to me. Later.